I just wanted to share a quick look at the new calendar view in Tana, which is very exciting. Uh, I'm looking, when you see me looking, I'm looking at my right screen here because my laptop screen is a little bit small uh, for, for giving you the full image here. Uh, the, uh, the calendar view allows you to engage with uh, content, whether it be directly nodes you're directly creating there or nodes as that are sometimes, uh, you know, when you add nodes within a live query, those come automatically designed to work within that query. You can do anything you do with any other nodes in any other view within this calendar view, which means, so this is here, just so for context, this daily activator dashboard, I have a daily activator space in my uh, action powered productivity community on circle. Um, and I aim every day to post some content in there. And so this is my dashboard for developing that content, scheduling that content, tracking the content after it's been posted, that sort of thing. And there are two places in here, the past posts and the queued posts uh, that both benefit from having a calendar view format. So you can see I've posted, uh, what, eight of these here over the last three weeks or so. So not quite every day, but but most of the, most of the way there. And all of these uh, individual ones here, if I click on them, I can open them up. And I can see, oh, here's my video. I have a link to the short. So all of this is laid out exactly the same way anything else is laid out in Tana. There's nothing, uh, you know, different about this. It's got the information as I have set up with my daily activator post uh, content. It's just organized in a calendar view. If I were to take this view and simply view it as a list, you'd see it's a, it's a list just like anything else in Tana is. So it is just a new way of viewing it. There's your calendar view, um, and those are my past posts. This is a query that's grabbing my daily activator um, super tag and simply looking at the ones that are posted and then organizing that as, uh, as it lays out on a calendar tied to a specific date field. So if I go to my queued posts, I'll show you here, hey, maybe I want to do the one tomorrow. Maybe I want to do it next Wednesday instead. Drag it, drop it. That simple. Now it's on uh, next Wednesday. You, you can even see because I happen to... Uh, in this, I have it set up so that, well, I won't go all the way to that, but I have the daily active reader post set up so that uh, the, the title up here, the name of the node includes the date that it's posted. Post date is the one I'm using with the calendar view here. So that I move that, watch the name right here of this. If I move it to the 12th, bam, posted on Wednesday, April 12th. It actually changes the changes that because that's dynamic. That's based on what the field content is. The field content is taking its information from where this sits on the calendar. You can also, if I wanted to say plan something for the 10th, I can just click right here and start typing. <laughs> I can create myself a new event right here on the 10th um, in the same way. And I hit escape there too, since I don't want to actually do that right now. I can open it up here so I can see it in, in full. And if I do that, and I'll go ahead and do it here just for the sake of the visual, it'll automatically open up as a daily activator because that's what the query requires. Uh, you may recall that queries in Tana, if you add things directly to the query, they'll be automatically set up to uh, be uh, to fit with the query. And so you can see it's already got its daily activator post set up um, and it's put the date that it was on there. It's put queued because that's required by that particular query. So it's really pretty fancy the way that can set up there. Sorry, I just, uh, I'm also using Arc Browser here, so you got to see that little little chunk. And so, you know, once I add that uh, information there, that will be added there on the tenth. So that's that's the idea of the calendar view. Uh, there's I'm using this in a month view um, because it's easier to kind of maneuver. But you can also use a day view. Um, this case, it doesn't have a particular time associated with it, but because dates now also allow you to include a time. You can schedule things through the day. I've been fiddling since uh, those of you who know me know that I'm big on using an agenda and a log. Um, I've been working on trying to figure out exactly how I want to, if I, if I can build an agenda with this. I certainly can. Right now, um, I'm still doing it my, my previous way of just using essentially a list of nodes for my agenda uh, because uh, the scheduling kind of puts tasks too close together for me visually. Uh, but the but the idea is there. <laughs> I'm I'm working on what that would look like to actually organize my agenda with with literal time blocks on my literal Tana calendar day by day. There's also the week view, um, which uh, the week view includes 
the time of day as well. So that's useful if you're doing that. I don't, these I'm not, are not tied to a particular time of day, which is why the month view is valuable. But that's an overview of what the new calendar view looks like in Tana and a particular use case here for me uh, where I'm generating a particular type of content. Um, it's useful for me to uh, use a query that will track what I did in the past and track what I have coming up. Uh, and that's uh, that goes into this new calendar view in a very simple and straightforward way. So if you're looking to uh, bring your dates on Tana into a, into a little bit uh, more valuable uh, way of using them, the calendar view is a big part of that. They're also, with this update, included date ranges, um, which is what allows the things like the uh, being able to set things for a certain time duration on the calendar that'll accept date ranges now. Uh, so there are a number of different uh, date upgrades that make this calendar view possible. So get in there, dig around a little bit, uh, see what can happen. And I think that you'll, you'll find that there's a lot of value uh, in this calendar view and the associated date changes that Tana has added in today's update.